okay, um, I've decided to go ahead and scrap the two-stage coil gun th because of uh, design flaws that I accidentally made. Um, the repairs I needed to do to it were uh, just not possible. So I've decided to go with a three-stage coil gun now, mainly because of the fact that I had the money to buy all the parts, and it just seems more practical in the long run. If I'm going to build a multi-stage, I might as well build three stages. Um, now, for um, for the three stage, I have most of the parts, but I don't have all of them yet, unfortunately. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and show you what I have. And uh, I'm going to start making videos as soon as I get the rest of the parts of me making it. I'll post them randomly. It's going to take a little while to make the entire thing, but once it's done, I'm, I'm thinking you guys are going to like the results. As with just the first stage, um, the first stage of my first coil gun that I made, it uh, could pierce two cans, or the first stage of the second stage, of the two stage, could pierce two cans, and the first stage will pretty much be the same as that one. Um, it'll have a lower voltage, though, so um, a lower voltage and a little bit higher capacitance uh, because the coils are a little bit different. So, um, but I'm thinking it's going to have this pretty much the same results. So I'm thinking that uh, this coil gun's going to be one of the better ones. But uh, let's take a look at the parts. Okay, first off, I picked up this this box right here because I got a lot of little kids in my house that like to mess around with my stuff. I don't like that. While well, one gets hurt, it's my fault. Yada yada yada. Probably gonna take it back though and get a bigger one because of the fact that I don't think this one's big enough to hold on all the coils and stuff. As of the fact that the batteries alone are this big, they take up this much room. Uh, think about maybe just using one of them. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, first off, we'll start with the batteries. They're 12 volt, 3.6 amp hour, uh, sealed lead acid batteries. They're spill proof and they're valve controlled. Uh, I picked these up at the surplus store. They're, um, you know, I don't even know, really. All it says is BB battery. I don't know what BB is, so we'll just leave it at that. For capacitors for the coil gun, I've gone with something a little bit different. I got a shitload of these ones. They're 100 volt, 1500 microfarad capacitors. I got 27 of them. Nine for each coil, so it's 300 volts at 1500 microfarads. Um, I got uh, some parts here I'll show you. First, we'll start with the batteries for th as they're concerned. We got 556 five, timer circuits, or ICs. These are f actually for the for the timing of the second and third stage, so we don't really need those uh, right now. But uh, bridge rectifier and the 12-volt regulator for the charger, and a transformer, and a box. Oops, and a box. That's for the charging. Uh, that's just for the power for the coil gun. Um, then that. Oh, this also goes to it. There we go. This is just a little power plug and uh, fuse and switch. Um, four RCA. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go through this before my camera shuts off. Four RCA plugs. Bunch of random LEDs. I got all the way. I got red, yellow, green, blue, pink, and I got. Oh, I've also got two jumbo UV LEDs in there. I got two golden RCA plugs. So uh, I got some single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw, and double pole, double throw switches. Uh, these are the projectiles. They're one and a quarter inch rods, steel rods. Uh, for barrels, I couldn't find any brass tubes or anything like that, but I've had success with pen tubes in the past, so we're going to use those. I got a UV meter. I'm going to mod 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 blah, 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 blah. I'm going to modify this a little bit so it, tell me, so it tells me the voltage of my caps. If you haven't already figured out, this is a table tabletop model, so yeah. Uh, just some random sharpie and pens and stuff. Um, some push button switches. I got one push button, and these two are the clicky ones. When you push them down, it opens one switch, closes the other one. 14,000 uh, microfarad, 16 volt capacitors. 5,500 microfarad capacitors at 25 volt. They're 25 volt capacitors. Three feet of heat shrink tubing. Uh, 24 gauge wire. 22 gauge wire. 24 gauge wire, 18 feet, uh, 18 feet, and 10 feet. And for the coils themselves, we've got uh, 200 feet. I've actually got 250 feet of this total, 50 feet over there, and then 20 feet of this. It's 20 gauge enameled copper wire, 10 cents foot. Can't beat it. 
I also picked up these. They're little needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and some other another set of needle nose. Uh, we have a little thing because I'm gonna make a tiny little coil gun. We got some electrical tape. We got some super glue for the coils. I got a bunch of those lying around. And the specs for the coil gun are right there. Um, I'm thinking that's it. I still gotta pick up some plexiglass for the uh, case for the for the coils and capacitors and all that. And uh, some relays for switching. Um, I gotta build the boost converter. Uh, I got parts for that coming. Um, so that'll be here in about uh, two weeks, I'm gonna say. Uh, so it's a work in progress. I mean, can't have all the parts at one time. But uh, I'll probably start building the coils and all that, the capacitor banks, all that. By the time that is done, I'm sure we'll have about a week left because uh, busy schedule. So as soon as I get all the parts, I'll start making. S I'll make some random videos of me making the stuff. When I get the boost converter, I'll make a video of building that. I've got uh, some silicon-controlled rectifiers on their way. Um, oh, speaking of that, I want to show you guys this. I picked this up at a surplus store for 75 bucks. I mean, okay, look at this thing. This thing is huge. It's an SCR silicon-controlled rectifier. Um, look at the size of this. This is my hand. I got the biggest hand. In my, I got some of the biggest hands in my family, and you know it's freaking huge. And then I also have a clamp diode, I believe they're called, right there. I'm assuming this is probably like 1200 volt, a 1200 volt uh, SCR, probably a couple hundred amps, maybe four or five hundred amps, I'm not sure. If you guys know anything you could tell me, that'd be awesome. There's no parts number, there's only a couple numbers on there, and I looked them up, and I can't find anything, so 75 bucks for that. Um, yeah, I've also got a large coil of 16 gauge wire. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's probably it. Uh, some more Sharpie pens, calculator, that kind of stuff. Um, um, yeah, these are the capacitors I seen before. They're 450 volt, 350 microfarad capacitors, and they're freaking huge. Look at that. So, pretty much. But uh, that's basically the parts I got now. Like I said, as soon as I start building stuff, I'll make some videos. And uh, until then, I'm out. Peace.